All right, so today I got a couple different curriculums for grade one to go over with you. I have the Math with Confidence, two books. I have the Math Mammoth, which is three books per year. And then I got, um, that's the kindergarten one, there's the grade one. And then I have Math, grade one, and you're gonna get a flip through of these for the good and the beautiful. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about each before we go into it, but I'll show um, okay, so before I give you, or maybe while I give you a flip through, there we go. Okay, so this is the workbook. Math with Confidence is play-based, so you're not going to see many, many uh, worksheets in here. And there's simple, simple games, like you're going to play war, you're going to play... So this is just kind of a review, because this is the grade one, so we're just trying to see where they're at. So. This was created by um, someone who has a degree, I believe she's got one in math and one in childhood education. So look at the lessons. So here they're very short. So this is lesson 1.4, lesson 1.4, and then we're on 2.1. Okay, so very, very short lessons, short worksheet stuff. You're looking at 15 minutes today. This is comparable to Right Start Math. But right start math, you're spending like 30 minutes on a child. This is 15 minutes and it's really a bonding experience, okay? This is you and your child playing a game, an easy one. It doesn't require a lot of added materials. All these programs are priced the same. This is $50 uh, per year, if you will. So I'm just giving you a little preview of what we're learning. But remember, a lot of it is games-based and that's, that's why this book, is very important to that. This book has the games in it. It's very easy though. It's not totally overwhelming. So let's look. So here it's got the warm, this is lesson 1.3, review counting. So there's always a warm up. okay? You're always gonna count to 20 and you're gonna use cue cards and create um, those from one to 20. And then you got the warm up counting review, the activity review counting by ones and twos. Um, we can also count by two, so different things like that. Now, what I like is, is I forget what it's called. I, I want to call it subordination, but no, that's not it. But um, sublimation, it's something like that, where it's the easiest way to count. So this is what this program teaches is an easy way to count. That's what's interesting about Right Start, is that kids, it, it focuses on the most efficient way to count. Okay, so that's one of the things I like about this. This is play-based. This would be great if you were had a child who, you know, is young and wants to play. They have a kindergarten version as well. I have the kindergarten coming. I'll show you that when it comes in. So it's kind of, it's mastery as well. So there's mastery and spiral. So I'm gonna show you two masteries, then I'm gonna show you the spiral and you'll clearly see the difference. Spiral is what you grew up with. Mastery is what they do in other parts of the world, okay? Where they, no offense, test better. Um, okay, so let's see, where is, so this is, so remember, there's an A and a B. This is starts in grade one. So this presumes, so it gives you a little bit of the kindergarten math review, okay? So the kindergarten, so writing numbers, you gotta be able to write numbers and count to, and count a bit and identify your shapes. Okay, so now we're going on to this. Now take a look at this. This is math, man, this is the grade one, level one. I use it with my son who's neurodiverse. I like it. For one, for a few reasons. One, it is it's mastery. So you're look at how long we're staying on addition here. We're staying on addition until we fully, fully understand addition. Okay, just a minute. I'll be there in, in about one more minute as soon as I'm done this book. So this is. So look, we're staying, you know, we're still adding, we're staying. So this is mastery and this requires no prep, no prep. You just read that. So no prep. So if you want something that's no prep and you know, maybe you go year round, we're going to go year round and you just do a page a day. That's how much uh, my son does. If you can't draw, if you've been a proxic son and he it, handwriting motor planning, is not that good. Do tally marks, I suggest, or dots. Use a marker. It's better for dots, but do dots. Now, the reason people don't like this is they say, oh, there's no review because it's not spiral. You don't have to answer every single question. You could also take an eraser, go back and erase some, and have a review 
that way. So it's not like it's like, oh, you're never, like once you do something and you move on. No, there's different ways to do reviews. And I believe she has some answers to that um, on her website. Okay, what do you got to show me? What'd you do? Let's see. <gasps> oh. It's noise and light. I see that. And the light looks like it's changing color too. Oh, that's loud. Too loud. Oh, wow. Look at that light. That light's changing color. Can we put the egg on it? I like the egg. I like the egg. He's fun. Oh, pretty egg. So this is the good and the beautiful math. Now, this is spiral. When you go through it, is that the kindergarten math? No, very long. I just wonder because it's the same chart in the kindergarten thing. So it requires a little bit of prep, it does. Now, let me show you these pages. So it is beautiful, I'll give you that. Hey, Locke, you have to stop that alarm. It's a little loud for mom's ears. But see like, so this is your addition and then you're kind of moving on. You're gonna work on the clock a bit, do a grid, then you're going back to addition. So for me, it's just a little much. And then you're doing some more this thing. And then it's like, okay, well, and then you're on January. And it's like, okay, well, wait, wait, go back to the audition. I want to learn more of that. But now, no, we're on clock. So to me, I just don't know. I'm sure it's sufficient. I'm sure it's absolutely sufficient. I am absolutely sure that it is sufficient. However, I like the other one. I think it's just more in depth. That's just uh, both of them, I think, are more in depth. So, but again, this is really beautiful. Um, it's very active to me. Again, <laughs> I like things that are a little more minimal just because I'm teaching them and I'm not a pro at math. So I'm learning too. Um, yeah, and so I don't necessarily want to read a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, I guess I, I don't mind reading a little bit of stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, so if one program doesn't work for your child, there's others and they're all priced the same. And this does come with some really fun things. So for Math with Confidence, it's comparable to Right Start Math, but Right Start Math's really expensive. Math Mammoth is comparable to Singapore Math. Um, you don't need extra supplies aside from, you're gonna need an abacus, which has uh, five and five. Let me show you. Let me show you the abacus that you're gonna need. It's one of these that where it's got five and five, so the different colors, okay? And you're gonna need a ruler and maybe some math cubes. And then this one, you're gonna make a, a lot of your supplies are available around the house. And this one comes with your um, supplies, the tally marks, the different shapes, things like that. So there you go that's my review so i'm doing the kindergarten one with my one child and it's okay but it's very i mean it's very it's slow like it's really slow in my again it's just so now you're on subtraction so it's like we need more addition people more addition in my mind but um there you go so the good and the beautiful math but it does assume too that in the kindergarten like let me show you the kindergarten Maybe that's where they do a lot of the addition. I would think so. Um, so this is the kindergarten. Again, it's the same style, right? It's, if you like flashy, beautiful pictures, it's the same style. I just prefer, hey, do one page a day kind of thing. And uh, math with confidence, I don't mind, that's bonding. So for a child that can't sit still and you wanna bond with them, that one, and uh, for one, if they're pretty independent and you just want to knock out two pages a day, and it's pretty too, it's not that it's not pretty, then there you go. So hopefully that helps you make some decisions. This one's spiral, so you go ahead, jump back, go ahead, jump back. These ones, conquer it, move on, conquer it, move on. But you can also do little reviews as well. So it's not like, and this actually has spiral too. It's both mastery and spiral. It does have some reviews in it. So you're good with that. So hopefully, that gives you something to think of. You say please like and subscribe. Please like you like. And hit the bell for notifications. Hit the bell you know that they did.